and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. Today I'm going to be painting up a Wolf Lord. Um, I got this guy with the Indomitus box, you probably recognise him, though I have changed a few bits and pieces and added a little bit of fur. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you through uh, how I painted him and how I got him looking like this though. Before we get started on that though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. stage in painting the Wolf Lord as uh, with any many of the other miniatures that I've actually painted up is to base coat them. This time I've not actually gone for one of the contrast paints though which I've been doing a lot of lately and I've gone back to uh, using a grey primer. This one in, in this instance it's a uh, Mechanicus Standard Grey from Games Workshop. I'm just giving that a, a, a spray all over the actual mini and the shield. Um, the base was painted um, black first with a Chaos Black just sprayed that on onto the actual base and then brought up the colors using a little bit of oak brown from uh, army painter for the base and the the actual rocks were just um dry brushed with uh, dawnstone and finally a celestra gray just straight over the top of the uh, black base um, and that gives you that sort of effect if you are interested in how painted the necron it is literally just lead belcher dry brush straight over the top of the black so now we're on to actually uh, using a brush and getting some paint on the actual miniature, other than the base coat of course. Uh, the first thing I did was get a uh, layer paint which is Dawnstone and essentially dry brushed the whole of the armour, the actual mini. I think it's a much nicer colour but because I've used the um, Mechanica Standard Grey as a base coat, what this does is add a natural sort of little bit of a shade in there as well. Uh, and it's a really good uh, base coat for the, the Dawnstone because it is a layer paint. If you try and do this straight over the top of black, black or any other colour, it doesn't really show up very well. Also did the shield at the same time, uh, the front and the back, um, just so we've got the, the same sort of colour, uh, and you'll see w when we get to the end uh, the effect this has. Uh, the next colour I used was, a, uh, I got the contrast um, black templar, essentially did all the black areas, starting with the shield, just around all the chain, um, in the centre of the shield there's like a, a wolf skull motif, so I did behind that, um, but yeah, just take my Took my time and did all the all the chains to give the chain a, a, a really nice base before adding uh, silver on there. Um, so just take took my time around this one, uh, and I, then I moved on to the actual miniature himself. So I did the belt area. Uh, he's got, got a belt that um, goes around his midriff. Uh, that was one area I, I went on into with the black templar, and I also went around the model and picked out a lot of the smaller details around the backpack. You've got some of the vents, um, so I put the the uh, black Templar into those and also in, in the um, cracks of the armour you've got like the softer areas where the armour would move I use the Black Templar for that as well yeah, I found it, it's a really really good colour to actually use for any of this sort of stuff um, purely because you put a, a, a straight black on there like Corvus Black or a Baden Black you lose a lot of the detail um, by using the Contrast Black Templar you actually get the, those areas uh, of lightness that pop so you don't ha actually have to add any shading if you don't want to at this stage I actually washed the whole mini with Agrax Earthshade and you might think this is a bit of a strange thing to do because usually you'd wash the mini after. However, I wanted to get this down straight away to to um, so I got the armour actually finished as such so you've got the effect straight away. It adds the shading in straight away and then allows you to concentrate on all the smaller details around the mini. Um, I, I could have left it till last but a lot of the other areas I wasn't actually going to use this shade again with. Uh, so like the sword, um, any of the uh, parchment, the, the furs, I, I was using Nuln Oil on those rather than Agrax Earthshade. So I wanted this on the mini straight away so that area was actually done. 
I then moved on to the, the fur areas and I used Contrast Wildwood for this one. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I really like this, this Wildwood paint. Um, I put this on quite a lot of them. It's a really nice brown. It's like a mid-brown, uh, maybe a little bit on the darker side rather than the mid sort of areas but it, it, essentially it's really really good and you can use it over the grey paint I've found really easily as well obviously you don't get that pop of the the raised areas as much as you would get using a white paint or any of the contrast um, games workshop sprays but it still gives a really good effect and you still do get those uh, raised areas are a lot lighter though in this instance I actually dry brushed some of the uh, fur to actually get those areas a little bit lighter as well which is actually what I'm doing at this point now. Just using a little bit of Xandru dust to um, dry brush really, really finely over the top of the fur just to really make some of those raised areas uh, a little lighter and give it some depth um, in the fur as well. After the furs, I moved on to the lighter areas such as the um, parchment around the actual mini himself, the, the bits hanging off him. Or, and also the um, skulls and um, talismans and things on the shield. I just used the Xandru dust over the top of all of these uh, to give it a really nice sort of base for the bone colour. I think this is a great paint to use. Um, I did actually try and see if the Contrast Skeleton Horde would use would work in this instance but it doesn't because the, the grey essentially is too dark to actually get that effect. So it's good to go, just go straight on there with a Xandru dust or something similar. You could leave it as just the base coat of Xandru dust, but I wanted to actually highlight the bone areas. So I actually used a Shabti bone, which is a paint I've used quite a lot for all the all the bone sort of colours, uh, and it works really well. Brings up the the colour, makes it really really bright, um, makes it look more like a, a really clean bone, and it works for the talismans quite nicely as well. The Xandru dust gives it a really nice base um, for this to work, and it, it really does look quite effective uh, when you actually get it on there. I use it on the skulls around the body as well as on the shield, um, all the wolf skulls and also on the sword, just to really um, highlight these areas and make them make them look uh, like actual bone. To, to darken these down I went back to using Agrax Earthshade um, and I just put them straight on, on the top uh, of the Shabti bone and the and the Xandru dust and it, and it really does look effective. I didn't do it on like, the, the parchment areas, I didn't use uh, a Shabti bone on those, I just left them as a base of Xandru dust with a bit of Agrax Earthshade over the top and that works quite well. Or at least I've found it works quite well uh, with the look that I'm trying to, to do uh, with this actual mini. So the next stage was the eyes and this is an area I've always found quite difficult. The first thing uh, um, to do is get a little bit of um, Corvus Black, any black paint will do, and draw a line essentially from the nose outwards where the eye is. Uh, the next stage is then to pick a little bit of white, which is, I've used Skull White, and I've done exactly the same thing within the centre of the eye to give another white line, so you've essentially got a black line with a white line in the middle. The next stage to do the actual um, iris itself is again to get the, the corv a little bit of corvus black out and just dot a little bit of um, iris in, in the centre of the eye or any direction the actual model's looking. And I found this works quite well and does look quite effective. Once the eye is done, I could then move on to the skin tone uh, around the head. Uh, it's only the head with this model that you actually have to paint a skin tone on. Um, if you if you struggle with eyes or struggle with skin tone, just put a, a helmet on there and, and uh, be done with that. However, I, he's a space wolf, so I wanted them all to be bareheaded. Um, and I've just used a base coat of Bugman's Glow, which I found is a really, really good base uh, to use if you're not using any of the contrast paints. Uh, you can then go straight over the top of this with a Cardian Flesh Tone, or Cadian Flesh Tone, sorry. Um, and that really then highlights all the areas. Don't try and cover it completely because you lose a little bit of the shading that the Bugman's Glow sort of creates. So you, what you want to do is just cover most of the areas uh, going up to the, the edges and then you sort of get that darker area as well. Uh, he's got like a scar above his uh, left eye so I've left that as the Bugman's Glow colour so, just so it, um, doesn't, um, so it doesn't blend in too much with the rest of the skin. The beard was then painted with uh, Celestra Grey found this is a really really nice light colour um, and it's great when you add a bit of um, Null Null over the top of it that adds the shading in it makes him look almost like a Gandalf sort of a beard uh, very very white um, and it looks, makes it gives him some age uh, and I, I really like this sort of effect it gives I also use the same colour for the left shoulder pad as with the rest of the force that I'm painting as well the next paint I moved on to was the Contrast Blood Angels Red um, and this was to pick out the detail on the actual sword or the actual sword itself rather than the detail sorry 
um, and that was the, the main area really and there's also a few little bits dotted around the model that I picked out um, the the actual handle of the of the sword um, there's the uh, little like uh, wax seals um, on on the actual mini as well and then I moved on to uh, paint while I was on the sword I moved on to painting the actual rest of it which was the metalwork and to start off uh, I used a lead belcher um, which is as you've um, if you've watched any of the other videos and as with the rest of them that I've painted lead belcher is my go-to for all silver um, I don't think I've ever really wanted to use anything else um, and he was just going around the mini really picking out any of those metal metal areas around his left arm there's a like a beaded area uh, there's the back of the shield um just to make it look a little bit different to the rest of it and there's a few little details just on the shield there's a few bits and pieces on there there's his belt buckle that was an area that i painted uh silver and the the bottom of his holster for his pistol the the little bit of the handle of the pistol as well just on the edges and then it was to move moving on to the gold which was in this instance i've used retributor armor if you watched any of my min, uh, videos recently a lot of the minis i've painted the gold i've used is retributor armor i think it's a really nice bright uh, gold color um it's a little bit too bright to be left as it is uh but we'll come on to that in a minute and i'll show you what i did when i shaded it but essentially all the gold areas or any sort of uh like icons or anything around the mini I could pick out I essentially used uh, retributor armor on and then um, it was actually on to uh, highlighting edge highlighting the actual mini and the best way to do this is um, just get a little bit of paint on the brush and use the side of the brush rather than the, the point of the brush if, if you get my meaning and then essentially just um, like push it across the edges and this gives you a nice neat line then if you try and do it with the, with the point of the brush what you find is uh, you may move uh, and it may, the line may be a bit um, jaggedy uh, and that's not really the effect you're looking for you're trying to get it so it's nice and neat and straight and the best way is the side of the brush um, and I've used Administratum Grey uh, for this uh, I think it's a, a, a nice bright grey not as bright as Celestial Grey so it works quite well when you're edge highlighting the Dawnstone and then it's on to shading uh, and I've used uh, uh, Null Oil uh, as I previously mentioned I was going to around all those gold areas and around the lead belcher silver areas as well. Uh, I've, put this, I've put this on really really thickly, uh, I wanted it to seep down into the cracks and the crevices really well. Uh, I haven't touched any of the actual um, armour plating because I've used the, the uh, Agrax Earthshade. Uh, as we previously talked about and I think this works better for, for those areas and I didn't want to darken them down any, any more essentially than they, it was it was already uh, darkened down to but the gold looks really really effective uh, when, when you add a little bit of this null null on there it was then on to uh, uh, the one transfer that I'm using on this mini which was on the left shoulder pad and it was the, the wolf head essentially it was a forge world one that I picked up for use of my 30k force and I've essentially pulled these over and I'm using the, the um, those sort of transfers and things on uh, these minis because it, these, this is essentially the red wolf chapter and it was the easiest way to do that. I uh, just use a little bit of microsol uh, on, on the shoulder pad first just brush a little bit of microsol down hold the transfer in the water for probably about 40 seconds um, push it onto the actual uh, shoulder pad itself and then brush a little bit of microsol straight over the top what this does is soften the the transfer down really really well so it, it goes nicely onto the actual uh, shoulder pad and it bends nicely around it all you do then is get a little bit of tissue and dab the the remainder remainder off uh, and it, it seals it completely essentially so you don't actually need to do anything else to it if you don't want to um, then on to weathering the mini and I've used uh, a little bit of the Forge World Light Earth weathering powder uh, for this and I've just used it around the feet um, and the, the bottom of the legs essentially I just wanted them to look like they um, they hadn't just arrived on the planet or and they'd been there a little while and been fighting a little while which meant that a little bit of dirt had got around the boots I didn't want to dirty them down any more than that because they wouldn't have been rolling around in the mud they won't be um, they would have kept their armor quite clean I think uh, so it was just around those areas and then to, to add a little bit, a bit of detail around the base I used the Valhalla and snow um, and just essentially dotted this about I didn't want to cover it completely because again I didn't want it to look like they were in um, you know the mountains and it was completely covered in snow I think that's a little bit too much when you look at, at snow and you run around it on, on snowy areas what you find is uh, you have a lot of um, areas where it melted you have a lot of the soil showing and that's the effect I wanted to give basically 
Final detail is the writing on like the parchments and things, and I'm using uh, essentially a Japanese um, brush pen to do this, uh, but I'm dipping it into the the paint, so I'm not actually I haven't filled the the, the pen itself with. Uh, with paint or anything or ink or anything I'm just using it uh, as a brush essentially because it's so fine it works really well if you just search for Japanese writing pen on Google you'll find these and they're they're so um, so thin and so small at the end they're perfect for this sort of detail once you add a bit of spray to actually um, seal the mini I've used Retributor Armour but you can use what you want I do recommend Retributor Armour though because it's brilliant um, it really holds the colour well that is the model complete and I think is absolutely fantastic. I'm so pleased with how he's turned out. Uh, what you can see on the actual shoulder pad is the Retributor Armour Spray actually make, dulls that down so you don't get that shine. Um, I'm really pleased with how the details on the face. I'm, I'm really excited to get my uh, teeth stuck into the rest of the force now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see any future videos. Have a look at my other videos that I've got online at the moment and I'll see you in the next one.